Well, we set off this morning from Dale Bay to head towards Swansea. We knew that the forecast was a little bit iffy, um, but hopefully we were going to sneak through. We got out there, we did two hours of sailing towards Swansea and the forecast was a little bit out and instead of a three to five in the east, it was a six in the east and the seas were very lumpy and we weren't going very fast so we decided to turn around and come back in and we're now snugged back up on our buoy in Dale, resting it off and I'm hoping Alan's going to make me a cup of tea. You might be lucky. We came down from Milford Haven yesterday to sit out and wait for the tide. The tide today is about lunchtime and we were going to have another sort of attempt. I don't know if you know, but we had one attempt already to head up to uh, Swansea, but the weather was so rough that uh, we came back. So here's Seagull on Dale pontoon. It's a holding pontoon just in the middle of Dale Bay. There's nothing connected to it. Here's Aquila, who we're still sailing in company with. But we're waiting for these easterlies to calm down. And I have to tell you, these easterlies have been strong and coming in for days. <laughs> We've had them for about a week. It's not getting much better. Not sure we're gonna be leaving today, but look at these waves just coming in. It's getting so loppy in here due to these easterlies that the pontoon's getting wet. Look at that. If you're wondering what we do while we're on board to pass the time when we're waiting out the weather, Here's Alan, he's writing his diary. He keeps a daily diary, just so we can remember in the winter everything that we've done. It's really great to look back on and remember everything in detail, otherwise we forget lots of the details, whereas I sort of do our YouTube channel and we can watch that in the winter as well. Here we are, we're coming up to Linny Head. Um, decided to leave Dale and give it a try because the weather forecast has been so um, vague that uh, we thought well, the only way to find out is to stick our nose out. So we're up to Linny Head. The wind is southeast to east or southeast, so it's on the nose really. So we're sort of um, beating to wind quite slow. We just want to make sure we get, we make sufficient progress so we can anchor tonight, at least in daylight. So that's the plan, Hope, aiming for Rossilly Bay. You see, this is what happens when you don't concentrate on helming. We're coming around St. Govan's Head and it's a bit, it's a bit lumpy. Um, oh, that's nice. <laughs> the table's just released itself from its um, heavenly bombs or whatever the line is. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean in case you're wondering. Um, so we're hoping that things will level off a bit once we get around Govan's Head, St. Govan's Head and um, we'll have a, a gentle run into Rossilly Bay. The forecast said the winds would drop to three or less, uh, but unfortunately they haven't done that yet. But uh, when they do, we're hoping they stay southeast, but um, uh, the chances are they'll go round to the east. So the weather will get the last laugh. I have no idea if you can see this or not. But we do have dolphins with us. It's a bit rough. So I'm having trouble trying to capture them. There you go. And now and again, it just pops up. Hey! 
dolphins. Very tricky to film and look at the same time. I'm not doing a very good job. May have to cut this in a very odd way so that it gets um, some good footage. Good footage. Good footage. Oh wow! Look at the birds complaining. I think. Here's Alan. He's dolphin watching too, and he's drinking his soup. That's what he's lifting up. You can see that the uh, the daylight is slowly fading. It's getting to about sort of five o'clock here now. We're nearly in a couple more hours and we'll be in. But you can see we've got lots of splashes as we go through the waves. The sea state and the wind have been dying all day, so it should be nice and calm, I think, tonight by the time we get in. They're still, they're still around. There they are, look. Flashing away in a little play. There we go. Here they are, dolphins with our bow. Hi dolphins. They're enjoying swimming with us today. Woohoo! We are going through some big splashes. They never ever cease to amaze me. So we're coming into Rossilli Anchorage. The sea state, as you can see, has calmed right down and uh, the sun is starting to set, but we should get in with enough time to lay the anchor without having to worry about doing it in the dark. So we're very happy about that. Tish is in silhouette. See if you can see Ryan's head. Let's have a look. There we go. Well, that's Worm's Head. And we're gonna anchor just in there. Well, we're at anchor at Rosilli Bay. And this is the sun trying to set. That's us rocking, I'm afraid. Um, i zoom back out. You can see Worm's Head. There's another boat there. It's a couple of boats actually moored together anchored. This is Worm's Head and Alan. Oh there's Aquila, forgot about those. Alan's in the cockpit just putting on some waypoints for tomorrow morning's run. Hopefully back to Cardiff. As you can see the sea state's lovely and calm for our night at anchor. We're just getting settled in now. We're gonna have some dinner and probably an early night. Well here's our passage dinner. It was basically made in Mr D but the chilli's being warmed up and the rice is cooking now. We are unbelievably hungry. I think Alan's taking to pacing. He's so starving. No, he's in the snacks. Oh no. I oh, was checking his phone. I thought he was on the snacks already. <laughs> We're just coming out of um, Rossilli Bay on uh, what may well be our um, final journey back to Cardiff. And uh, this is um, Worm's Head, and you can see a bridge there, a rock bridge. It's called Devil's Bridge. Uh, it looks a bit like a sort of lopsided heart underneath, but that's actually looking through to the other side of um, Worm's Head. So that's rather lovely, isn't it? I like that. We're coming out here, and we're going to go down 
the inside passage down Helwick Sand. While the skipper's washing up this morning, I'm on watch, and it is just what we would think of as a little bit murky this morning, but the sun is having a go. I'm trying to come through. You can see a patch of sunlight there on the uh, water in the direction that we're going. You can see the sort of fog on the headland. Gentle passage. I'm going against tide, so it's only about three and a half knots progress, but it'll be with us later. Well, it's lunchtime, and our passage is no better. We're in a pea super again. We've had more pea supers this year than I can remember. We're in the cockpit. Alan's eating lunch. We've got homemade soup and bread rolls. It's rather nice. The weather's warm, though. Well, we're still in this pea super of a fog. But we appear to have a new member of the crew. This pigeon just flew in out the fog, decided it needed a rest, and has sat on a bow. Just having a rest. We're on watch still. We've been on watch all day. There's Alan. Is he going to wave? <laughs> he says we could have a rest now. The pigeon is on watch. Apparently it's called Percy. <laughs> the pigeon has made its way right into the cockpit. He didn't want anything to eat. He looked really thirsty, so picked it a bit of water on the deck. There wasn't much, so we put some water in this ramekin and we're giving him a drink. Hopefully he'll feel better soon and fly away. Well, Percy the Pigeon is still with us, but amazingly, the fog has lifted. We can now see the shore. Not only can I see the shore, I've got a good view ahead of me to keep watch, which is making my life a lot flipping easier. Um, we're doing really well. A few more hours and we're in. Cardiff, here we come. We're just coming into, um, well, actually, we're just going past Barry Island which is our old sort of, um, this, these waters are our old uh, sailing grounds. And we're just saying it's a bit of mixed emotion, really, because it's quite exciting to be coming back. And we're looking forward to seeing the girls and, you know, um, having a car and seeing whiskey. But uh, we kind of don't want the, ev the, the adventure to stop. Um, you know, the, the, um, there's still lots of places we'd, we'd like to visit and, and um, ports we'd like to go to, new ports we'd like to go to, so we're, we've got a bit of a conflicted emotion. We're, um, we're, still, we're still keen to carry on, but the season's coming to an end, although you wouldn't think so, because it's 24 degrees and brilliant sunshine now. Um, for, the, for the last six, seven hours, we've been in absolute dense fog, but we're just as we're coming into Cardiff, it's bright and right up. And it kind of makes you think we should carry on, but there we are. We are where we are. We are on the approach to Cardiff Bay Barrage now. As you can see, there are two very big boats coming out. We're in a, a little channel, so we're, there's just room for us all. We're heading in and the barrage is just in front of us. It's uh, the gap is just to the left of the second big boat with the red hull. We'll be in soon. We're in the barrage. And Alan has just helped this boat come alongside. He's walking along the pontoon now. The lock is at either end and We've got beautiful blue skies. There are other boats in the lock. Got this yacht here. And another one behind us. Nearly back. Cardiff, here we come. <laughs> we're nearly in. The locks are opening. We've got to get our lines ready. The skipper's looking at it like I'm supposed to be doing it. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, kind of. So I better go and get ready. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to miss the lockout.